happens every day with the right talent in the lineup. Full staffing can put the right people in your company's lineup too. You go to fullstaffing.com to get blue chip talent today. Officials for today's game, Tim Comer, Mike Eads, Burt Smith. What do you think, Phil? This is a, an interesting matchup. Yeah, it sure is. And I'm interested to see how Clemson handles the different looks you're going to see in terms of pressure package that UNC Wilmington will play with. We talked about, you know, their full court pressure defense. Uh, Coach Bender, you know, on, on his radio interview today, uh, described it as a 1-2-1-1, one, one, one. so a zone press where they trap immediately, uh, and then they try to get it out of your primary ball handler's hands as much as they can. So that's going to put the onus on other guys like Dante Grantham, Avery Holmes, bringing the ball up and having them handle the ball as opposed to Shield Mitchell. So it's going to be ball handling is going to be extremely crucial in this game. We've seen Clemson take pretty good care of the basketball most of the season. Sands a few turnovers last game, but last game against South Carolina, most of them came in half-court situations because of the really gritty man-to-man defense you saw out of South Carolina. Wilmington is elite at taking care of the basketball, at forcing turnovers, and they're sixth in the country in two-point field goal percentage. They yeah, get great looks. Yeah, they do. They shoot over 50% as a team, but really closer to 60% on two-point field goals. They come out in the road navy blue, tops and bottoms with teal lettering and gold trim. Clemson in the home, white tops and bottoms, orange lettering, purple trim. Ball brought to center circle to be City Jeté opposite Devontae Kaycock as they stand on the orange paw at center circle. Ball gets lifted into the air, and we're underway. The Clemson Tigers control the tap. It was Jate knocking it back to uh, Blossom Game, who feeds Shelton Mitchell. And the Tigers bring the ball up the floor from our vantage point from right to left. Shelton Mitchell at the left point, passing inside the three-point arc to Jerron Blossom Game, left of the paint, powers his way in, double team, dumps it off to City Jate for an easy two. And that was a veteran assist by Jerron Blossom Game. Yeah, it was, and that's where he's developed a ton this year. Finding the man when he's getting double teamed like that, and a great job of finding Jate for an easy bucket to start. 2 nothing lead for the Clemson Tigers against one of the highest scoring teams in the country. UNC Wilmington averages 89 points per game. This is the first game of the season for the Seahawks against a high major opponent. Between the rings, it's Bryce, their leading scorer. Kicks right side, a three is sent up by Flemings. He missed it badly. Rebound Clemson up the middle of the floor. Comes Shelton Mitchell. He dribbles over to the left point. Gets a high screen from City Jete. Runs into a double team. Needs a little bit of help. Picks up his dribble and launches it left side to Blossom Game. He drives the baseline. Pivots. Works his way into the paint. Floater on the way off the mark. Good box out by UNC Wilmington. Putting a couple of bodies into City Jete and reclaiming the possession after the miss by Blossom Game. 2-0 lead. High screen and roll. Nice pass from Ingram down to Kaycock. He lays it in right of the rim. We're tied at two. Yeah, veteran move that time by Ingram. A fifth-year guy. And a really nice job of recognizing Kaycock cutting to the basket. He's a guy that shoots over 60% in the post, so you've got to put a body on him. Dante Grantham brings the ball up the floor. We've seen him run a little bit of point this year when Mitchell gets into foul trouble. Tosses left side to Mitchell. Penetrate floater on the way off the heel. But he was fouled on the drive. And free throws coming after the personal foul against Ambrose Moses. How about the crowd fouling in here? We've got a pretty good group uh, in, in the stands so far for this one. Probably the second best crowd we've seen outside of the Georgia game. And right now, you know, in checking our Twitter feed, someone's taking a picture. There's still a line outside the building, people getting in, trying to get into this thing. Yeah, so. this is a great crowd. As the Tigers have really earned it, they're 9-2 on this young season. Mitchell shoots free throws, connects on the first. After that make, he's now 14-16 at the line. You talk about some of the newcomers. Reed, an 88% free thrower. Yeah. Mitchell, an 87% free thrower. A couple of, of, of real benefits when you play a team like UNC Wilmington that fouls a lot. Second free throw good as well. Tigers lead 4-2. Yeah, and it's real important for Shelton Mitchell to have a bounce back game for the Tigers. One assist, seven turnovers last time out against South Carolina. Ingram drives, wraparound pass to Flemings, who got fouled inside on the left block. And that may be in the act of shooting. It goes against Avery Holmes. They're going to have the UNC Wilmington inbound the ball from low and left. Clemson leads by a score of 4-2. to two. We talked about Wilmington's propensity to foul. They are 311th in the country at putting opposition on the free throw line. We'll see if the Tigers can make some hay there because Clemson's a pretty good free throw shooting team this year. Left wing, it's Flemings. He drives the baseline. Wraparound pass. A little too unselfish. Intercepted by Blossom Game. One-on-one. Straight up the middle of the floor. Had the ball poked away. City Jete chases it down. Mitchell throws left side to Grantham who fell down. And the ball goes out of bounds. Grantham was wide open on the left wing. And as Mitchell tried to pass it to him, he just simply lost his footing and kind of did a backward somersault as the ball went over his head and out of bounds. First turnover of the game for the Tigers, who lead 4-2 over UNC Wilmington. Yeah, that was a tough one because Grantham looked to be all alone on the wing for uh, one of his favorite three-point shot spots on the floor. Unfortunately, Ingram's tripped up. Throws out top to Bryce. 
Now work it right side to Flemings. Blossom game has given him the right hand. He says, go ahead and go to the baseline. He drives and then kicks across court over to Mosley. Mosley drives the baseline under the basket, kicks right corner. A three on the way, but a whistle, and I think a step on the end line. He stepped out of bounds. Clemson's got to get back on those rotations. We saw Blossom game lunging at the shooter. This is a pretty good three-point shooting team for UNC Wilmington. It's not their bread and butter, but they do have guys that can knock it down from out the arc. Dante Grantham to inbound it from the corner, and he's looking for help against pressure. Gets it into Avery Holmes. Holmes lobs it ahead to Mitchell. Mitchell on a break. Attacks the glass and was fouled on the drive. A little slow to get up. They're going to give the foul to Chris Fleming. Well, a good job that time by Shelton Mitchell of really attacking the body of the defender. And he, Wilmington wanted to try to get the call of a, a charging foul in that situation, but I think that Mitchell had, had did a good job of not plowing over the guy. The Southpaw Mitchell is three for three at the line after connecting there to give Clemson a 5-2 to two lead. And, you know, uh, we, we'll ride this story out as long as it goes. Clemson a good free throw shooting team. And if Wilmington's going to put them at the line a lot tonight, that could really benefit the Tigers. Yeah, Second sure free can. throw good as well. It's 6-2. to two. Clemson ahead of UNC Wilmington. We're about two and a half minutes into the game here at Little John Coliseum. Ingram is straight on three. Off the mark. Tap out by Jete, but he knocked it over to Mosley for... UNC Wilmington and a fresh 30 on the shot clock for the Seahawks. Ingram between the rings will throws to Mosley, tries an NBA three over Mitchell, no good. Ball tipped around and UNC Wilmington comes up with a rebound again. Top of the key, it's Bryce. Team's leading score averages 18 a game. He chucks a three. Third time a charm for UNC Wilmington as they are able to pull within one on a three-pointer by C.J. Bryce who averages 18 points a game. Well, you can see they've got terrific one-on-one -on -one individual players and Bryce showed it in that situation. Coming in at 18 a game. He's a high-scoring athlete. Good-looking kid. Top of the key, City Jete. Decks it once, hands off to Mitchell. Mitchell low to the ground, picks up his dribble, offers left wing to Holmes. He drives the baseline, goes up strong, missed the shot. I think he anticipated a foul call. Steals the ball back, throws top of the key to Blossom Game. Blossom Game's floater's good. His first two of the game. The Tigers, with a hustle bucket, have an 8-5 lead. Great stick to it and missed that time by Avery Holmes. Didn't give up after the shot rimmed out on him. Deflected the ball away. Nice save to Blossom game for two. Ingram left wing three. Got it. 8-8 eight, eight ball game. It. Called out on a two. He had a foot on the line, but nonetheless, a nice pull up by Ingram. You can see that they're not intimidated by playing in this environment. 8-7 to seven, the score. Clemson ahead. Mitchell drives, lobs it out top. Blossom game left alone for three. Heel of the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, Dante Grantham dribbles into the corner. Bounces to Blossom game, cutting toward the basket. Throws it up, off the mark, no good. Jate taps it out to Avery Holmes, who got fouled there, I believe, by Devontae Kaycock. That would be a second, and he's really their only big guy. So that's a developing story if that's indeed the call. And no, that's, that's going to be his first. Yeah, he, he was actually involved in a collision earlier, but didn't get the foul earlier, the one you're thinking of. So that's his first. Nonetheless, frantic action early as we expected. A little bit of up and down play. Uh, Seahawks are a team that comes in. I think they're a top 100 team in terms of uh, tempo. And the Tigers playing a good bit faster this year as well. They've moved up about 100 spots themselves in terms of, you know, pos uh, possessions per, uh, per game. So. Reed and DeVoe check into the ball game for Holmes and Grantham. And so Mitchell will bring the ball up the floor against Jordan Talley, who's checking in for his first action of the game. And how about Marquise Reed coming off one of his better games so far this year? 14 12, against South yeah, Carolina. 12 in the second half when Clemson really needed it. Baseline jumper from Jete is good from 15 feet. We've seen that part of City Jete's game emerge throughout the season. Clemson leads 10-7. to 7. Yeah, pretty job that time. He knocks that one down with regularity. Tigers on top by three. Left wing, it's Ingram. A transfer from UNC Charlotte, a dangerous three-point shooter. He throws almost to the backcourt. It was saved by Jordan Talley. Talley gets a high screen, offers right side to Bryce, tries a right point three. It's a slider off the mark. Rebound City Jete, and the Tigers have the basketball, the three-point advantage more than four and a half minutes into the game. Timeout stop, uh, coming at the next dead ball stoppage. City Jete. The ball top of the key will scoop it left side over to Reed. Reed coming off a screen from Jete, finds DeVoe in the corner. He, he darts up the baseline. His shot blocked away. He's able to follow his own miss. Ten on the shot clock. Bounces to Blossom game. Muscles his way into the paint. Turnaround. Nice pivot by JB, but he missed the floater. He was pushed out to the ACC logo. Rebound, UNC Wilmington. Flying up the floor. Bryce splits defenders. Whistle and a foul call. C.J. Bryce goes to the free throw line when we continue. 14-51 to go in the first half. Clemson leads 10-7 against one of the highest scoring teams in NCAA basketball. This is the Clemson Tiger Sports Network from Learfield. C.J. Bryce, sophomore out of Charlotte, goes to the free throw line. 
He had missed a layup after being fouled by Blossom game, the first foul of the game on JB, right before we had the stoppage. Bryce shoots a free throw, and it pinballs out. No good. C.J. Bryce was only 63% last year at the free throw line. He's up to 71% here as a sophomore. But Coach Kevin Keats said he had the best summer of all the guys, and maybe that's indicative of the uh, – fact that he's up eight points a game from a year ago and he's the team's leading scorer to 18 a contest second free throw is good as well it's 10 to 8 Clemson leads UNC Wilmington dealing with some backcourt pressure but they break it nice pass by Grantham over to Mitchell Mitchell finds Reed on the white right wing he'll lob it back out to Mitchell at center circle Mitchell one-on-one move to create some space tries a three at the right point and it hit all 360 degrees of the rim before lipping out Rebound UNC Wilmington, and the Seahawks have a chance to tie or take the lead here as Jaquel Richmond into the game for the first time, a mid-Tennessee state transfer who's got the ball high on the right right now against Gabe DeVoe. He'll bounce it out to Tally between the rings, being chased around by Shelton Mitchell. A uh, lob into the right corner for Richmond. Richmond will get it out to Flemings, and now Flemings off a high screen, runs into a double team. Elijah Thomas and Dante Grant, a pass inside, knocked away by Reed, into the hands of DeVoe. And the Tigers with a little bit of a break here. Right corner, it's a three on the way from Dante Grantham, who will ring it up and give the Tigers a five-point lead, 13-8. And credit the defense that time. I thought the trap by Elijah Thomas was critical, and Reed being able to step in front of the passing lane, get the steal, and Tigers convert on the other end. Tally low to the ground, dumps it left side. Fleming's a catch and shoot three off the heel and a long rebound. Gabe DeVoe runs in to Marquise Reed, but DeVoe will take it away from his teammate, bring it up the left sideline, stop at the left wing, throw it out top. Reed for three, straight on, missed it. Tigers a little shaky from the outside. It's nice to see Grantham knock down that three, but other than that, Clemson won for four. And it's a five-point advantage for the Tigers right now. C.J. Bryce right of the painted area. Pulls up for a jumper. Missed it. Rebound snatched out of the air by Dante Grantham, who brings it up the right sideline for the Tigers, leading 13-8. to eight. We're seeing Clemson. One of the things I feel like in this seven-game win streak we've seen is really stifling defense. They're holding opponents to less than 40% shooting. So far, Wilmington just three for nine. I feel like they're making them take tough, contested shots. High post Thomas. Hands it back to Mitchell. Dumps it back to Thomas. Easy dunk right over the front of the rim. Second dime of the game for Mitchell and a timeout for Kevin Keats. He needs to discuss as the Tigers are on a bit of a run here. And Clemson has a 15-8 lead over UNC Wilmington. Yeah, pretty job of the two-man game that time. You see the help come up on Mitchell because he has done some damage early in the paint in this game. And as a result, he knows how to find the open man, which that time the man rotated off of Thomas. Easy easy find that time for Shelton Mitchell. At Bilo, even more prices are down and staying down. Your family deserves great food at a great price, and that's why Bilo has over 700 prices down on the things your family buys most. Bilo, the official supermarket of the Clemson Tigers. This defense has officially been pretty darn good the last seven games, as you alluded to, Phil. And, you know, we saw some games earlier this year against the likes of Xavier. The Davidson game was high scoring. I think Coach was kind of disappointed with the defense against Oklahoma. Yeah. But recently, we've seen some dog fights. You know, that Nebraska game was 60-58. Sure. Alabama was held to 54 points. South Carolina was a slugfest. Yeah. We're starting to see this team, which Brad Brownell said is dangerous because of its ability to score. We're seeing, starting to see them adopt that Brad Brownell defense as well. We are. Opponents, during that seven games, 57 points a game and shooting just 151 for 421. You'll take that right Almost a steal by Clemson. Kaycock has it on the right baseline. He bounces to Ingram. Ingram looks down low, and it's taken away by UNC Wilmington, working it around the perimeter. Left corner three from Ingram. Finds the bottom. Nice fadeaway three from Denzel Ingram, who's 37% on the season from the outside. And that ends the drop for UNC Wilmington. That's their first bucket in about three and a half minutes. Clemson brings it the other direction with a 15-11 to lead, and Ty Hudson on the floor for the first time tonight. Left wing, it's Gabe DeVoe. A bounce down low, it's Arendt for Thomas and saved inbounds by UNC Wilmington. They're looking for a break. Right wing, Flemings catch and shoot three. Off the mark to the left, rebound Dante Grantham. Grantham's been rebounding the ball pretty nicely the last couple of games. That's his third board of the contest. Grantham will push it past the left point for Reed. Lob it left of the painted area for Thomas. Backs his way down against Kaycock. A power move from the left elbow. Puts it up with the left hand and got it to go. Sorry, the left block, rather. Nice post move by Thomas. His first bucket. Tigers lead by six. We've seen him score over that right shoulder with the left hand a couple times uh, in his three appearances so far. He's a guy that's very skilled around the basket. And Thomas there with a little reach foul. Along the left sideline against the shorter, quicker Denzel Ingram in a timeout on the floor. 11.42 to play here in the first half. Clemson 17, UNC Wilmington 11. Half free pizzas so far this year. 
as Clemson's got nine wins to just two losses and trying to get a tenth before ACC play begins, Phil. And if they can get that, ten and two against this strength of schedule, they'd really position themselves nicely for a run at March Madness. Yeah, it sure would. It put them in the top 40 of the RPI. I think they're just on the uh, outside looking in currently. But it would put you in the top 20 in Kim Palm as well probably. And uh, those are great, great things. And what you and I were discussing earlier today, we've seen uh, a few prognostications uh, across the across the nation it's early on conference play just getting started but the likes of jay billis sports illustrated joe lenardi espn's famous bracketologist all pretty high on the tigers so far and that is of course inherent on them taking care of business tonight against UNC wilmington and then having a good solid acc season denzel ingram with the ball top of the key lobs inside to kaycock it was an alley-oop attempt that got busted up by city jute tigers take it away racing up the left sideline is reed floater on the way from reed off the mark nice fight by city jute but a good box out by ingram Ingram takes it away for UNCW. It's Bryce flying to the rim. Layup is missed. A tip dunk by Kaycock, and he hung on the rim a little bit. Well, if this was in Columbia, that would have been a technical <laughs> foul. And it's 17-13. to 13. There Dealing with backcourt pressure again. Blossom game feeds to DeVoe. Had his pocket pick from behind by Richmond. Here comes UNC Wilmington in the other direction. Dumps it right side. Ingram catch and shoot three. Finds the bottom. A quick run for UNC Wilmington. And a timeout by Brad Brownell. Does not like the helter-skelter pace this game adopted in the last minute or so. And UNC Wilmington's back in the ballgame. Clemson 17, Wilmington 16. Yeah, that time. Third turnover of the game for the Tigers tonight. Tiger fans, you can purchase your official Clemson gear online at ClemsonTigers.com. We also want to remind you Bud Light is a proud partner at Clemson Basketball. Reminds all fans to enjoy the game and drink responsibly. Go Tigers. Clemson 17, UNC Wilmington 16. The one thing that was just on display over the last 45 seconds, Phil, is that no matter how large a lead Clemson builds tonight, unless it's Coppin State-esque, UNC Wilmington's never out of this game. They can score in a hurry. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely they can. And we've seen them uh, heat up a little bit. They've hit three of their last five shots and a couple of them from behind the arc. And, uh, you know, it's a good-looking team that's not going to quit all night. Usually teams that press, they play it for 40 minutes. And Clips is going to get their start and backcourt back in the game. Mitchell and Holmes out there with Grantham, Blossom Game, and Jete starting five out there for the Tigers right now, leading by points, 17 to 16. Drawn Blossom Game high on the right with the basketball. Throws top of the key, City Jete. Offers left side to Grantham. Had that ball knocked off Grantham out of bounds and back to UNC Wilmington. That turnover was forced by C.J. Bryce, the sophomore guard out of Charlotte. And the fourth giveaway of the game for the Tigers gives the Seahawks the ball back with a chance to take the lead. Yep. One thing that's going to keep a team like Wilmington in the game is turning the ball over. And we've seen... Clemson guilty of that too much against South Carolina. You can't get into that kind of game against UNC Wilmington. Top of the key, this is Ambrose Mosley, senior guard out of Jacksonville, Florida. Right wing, Ingram challenges. Holmes one-on-one, steps into a straight-on three, missed it. Kaycock with an offensive rebound. Well, that's a great contest that time by Holmes, but you got to finish the possession out defensively and get that rebound. Wilmington is out-rebounding Clemson so far. Ingram, a nice give and go with Mosley. Then gets it back, feeds into the corner. Three on the way. Pinballs around and falls out. And a tip back left to the rim by C.J. Bryce. UNC Wilmington has a one-point lead. Yeah, good job that time of hanging around by the rim. And we've seen rebounding kill Clemson early on this season. It's doing it again today. The pressure gives the Tigers more problems. And it was nearly taken away by UNC Wilmington again. Ball got knocked out of bounds. Grantham a little lazy with it that time. And... And are they giving it to UNC Wilmington? I guess they are. No, no it'll be Clemson ball. No, Clemson's going to inbound it where it went out right at midcourt. An enthusiastic bunch behind UNC sure. Wilmington's bench. And they're pretty happy with the defense that the Seahawks have played here in the last couple of minutes. 9.50 to play here in the first half. UNC Wilmington leads 18-17. to 17. It was you a good start for the Tigers. Well, you alluded, alluded to it. This is their biggest game of non-conference by far. I mean, so far, St. Bonaventure has been their biggest game, and they won that 81-80. to 80. They haven't played a Power 5 team. Left of the paint, it's blossoming. game. Tigers had a good start, but a 7-0 run right now for UNC Wilmington. A three and a foul. We'll put Avery Holmes at the line for a trifecta, and that's the kind of guy that you want shooting three free throws. He iced some game-winning free throws the other night against South Carolina. He did. He hit three out of four inside the final uh, minute of the game, helped seal that one off for the Tigers. But, uh, that time, a good recognition again on a pass. I believe it was by Blossingame from the block, and uh, good job of recognizing Holmes open on the wing. Blossom game has distributed the ball nicely so far tonight. 
but I was going to say, UNC Wilmington has done a pretty nice job defensively in the half court of making Clemson really earn yeah, their points. They uh, have. Clemson scored in transition a few times, particularly on the free throw line. Here's Holmes. He knocks down the first free throw to tie the game up at 18. First point for the Tigers in the last two minutes and 18 seconds. Elijah Thomas in the game for City Jete right now. Thomas is lined up right of the paint. Blossom game left of the paint. Holmes shoots the free throw and gives the Tigers the lead back. 19-18 to 18 with one more to come. As Clemson has been at the line a lot so far today, Phil, for uh, the first 10 minutes of a, of a basketball game, you usually don't see too many free throws attempted at that juncture, but Clemson 6-for-6 six six so far tonight. Holmes will make it 7-for-7 seven seven by converting all three. And it's 20-18, to 18, Clemson on top. Denzel Ingram skips into the forecourt for UNC Wilmington. Blanketed by Avery Holmes in a man-to-man defense for Clemson. A high screen to his left from Kaycock. Holmes goes through it. Off her left. Over to uh, Flemings. Flemings will lob it over to Ingram. High on the right with 13 to shoot. Now a double team against Ingram. Bounce pass top of the key, Kaycock. Decks it once, twice, three times. Handoff goes over to Mosley. Mosley dribbles it off his foot, recovers it on the baseline, two to shoot. Muscles up a shot off the side of the backboard. Rebound Dante Grantham. The Tigers want to run with it, but they don't have numbers. It's one on four. Grantham dribbles into the right corner, kicks out to Blossom game. Blossom game between the circles, scoops it back over to Mitchell. With under nine minutes to play here in the first half, Tigers have the ball in a two-point lead. Mitchell one-on-one basketball, drives inside and lays it up right at the rim. Those are coming some of the buckets we saw him hit against Alabama when he had a career-high 18. A great job at finish that time with his right hand. Six for Mitchell, and the Tigers lead by four, 22 to 18. Bryce with a basketball. C.J. Bryce, top of the key, works on Grantham, shot blocked away. Grantham and Thomas there defensively. Blossom game up the left sideline, kicks it back to Grantham, looks and finds a cutting Thomas, spin move by Thomas, under the basket, scores with the left hand, and the Tigers lead by six. <laughs> Grantham is absolutely fired up, great find that time on the bounce pass to a cutting Thomas. He's hit all three of his shots, and the Tigers, just like that, regain a six-point lead. 24-18, to 18, and the crowd comes to life at Little John. A left wing, three on the way from Bryce, barely grazes the front of the rim. Rebound Avery Holmes, kicks it up the left sideline to Mitchell, and a foul called against Flemings, who tried to intercept the pass, but he bumped into Mitchell, and that could put Mitchell at the free throw line. Now scratch that, that's the sixth foul against UNC Wilmington, the sixth, and so Clemson will be shooting from here on out. Great job that time of picking your head up and, and looking up court by Avery Holmes. Flemings went for the intercept, but uh, Mitchell corralled the ball and was fouled. But uh, I love those Tiger guards this year, not settling to just take the ball up and walk it up. They catch the ball after a rebound, and they're looking to push, push, push. And uh, that's one of the biggest differences you see in this year's Clemson team Thomas, as opposed to years past. Thomas with six points in five minutes. He's going to get a breather. City Jete comes back onto the floor. Mitchell high on the right. Wow. Nice move. Shake and bake. Dumps down low to Blossom game. Throws it over his shoulder. Scores it. Counted in a foul. JB's got four. Tigers lead by eight. And he'll go to the free throw line for an old-fashioned and one when we continue in a moment. Little John's coming to life. Tigers lead 26-18 over UNC Wellington. And we'll step aside on the Clemson Tigers Sports Network from Learfield. You may not be on the field or on the court, but when your team makes the last second game winner, the fans go wild. It feels like victory. There's nothing like it in the world except driving a Nissan. Get to Nissan, a proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com today. Nissan, take on game day. Jerron Blossom game at the charity strike. Buries the free throw. He's got five. Six for Mitchell. Six for Thomas. 27 for the Tigers, who lead by nine. Over 11-1 UNC Wilmington. Jordan Talley with the ball. Left wing. Brings it between the circles. Goes right side to Ingram, down to the corner. Three on the way is missed by Richmond. Offensive rebound under the basket, thrown in right of the rim, count it and a foul. It's Marcus Bryan seeing really his first action of the game. Averages 2.5 points per game this season. Bryan will go to the free throw line and try to polish off the three-point play. He's a guy that hadn't been playing a ton over the last five, six games, but played 19 minutes against East Carolina, came up with four rebounds uh, in that win for him, but he's a guy that, you know, he's one of their role players on this team and one of the few post guys they have coming off the bench. High arching free throw is good. Jete guilty of the foul, his first. He checks out. Thomas back onto the floor. Tigers need to inbound it against constant, relentless pressure from UNC Wilmington. Clemson leads by six. Grantham needs help in the backcourt, and he throws it away. Tried to gun it right side over to Blossom game. Brad Brownell saying, hey, you should have dumped it way down the middle of the field. 
Well, that's what we're talking about. They try to get it away from your primary ball handler, so that time they force someone other than Mitchell to make decisions with the basketball, and we saw it pay dividends for UNC Wilmington's defense that I, time. I said down the middle of the field. Yeah. It, it really felt like it should have been a, a long bomb pass from Watson to somebody. A floater on the way is blocked away by Thomas. And here come the Tigers, two on one. Holmes, alley oop to Grantham. UNC Wilmington quickly the other direction. Richmond, turnaround, Eli. blocked again by Elijah Thomas. Ball got knocked out of bounds. It stays with the Seahawks. But great defense on consecutive possessions by Elijah Thomas. Boy, an infusion of energy he brings to the team. We saw it on the bench. This is his first game suiting up at home for the Tigers. That's right. He's Good played point. two road games, so he is jacked up to get up here in front of this Clemson crowd, and he is making an impact in this game for sure. He's already got six points tonight. The Tigers lead 29-21 over UNC Wilmington with 7.02 to play here in the first half. We see Ambrose Mosley check back into the game for Jaquel Richmond. Well, one of the things he gives you, which you don't get in a guy like City, and this is nothing against City, Jute, but Elijah Thomas is a guy who's a terrific outlet passer. So you saw that time, gets the rebound, strong outlet pass to a streaking Avery Holmes, and he knows what to do with it, puts it up for Grantham on a pretty alley-oop. Yeah, that was textbook, wasn't it? Yes, it was a great, I mean, he threw it 50. Uh, Tally has his pocket picked by Mitchell, although Tally was able to save it. Now a pass to Bryce. Bryce muscles it off the glass. No good. Ball is still loose under the basket. Brian, uh, Brian comes away with it for UNC Wilmington. He's being scrapped and clawed at. Bounces out top to Ingram. Left wing, three on the way for Mosley. It's off the mark and rebound for Clemson. Very disjointed possession that time for UNC Wilmington. Credit Clemson's stingy defense again as Wilmington now shoot 30% for the game. Nice dribble by uh, Avery Holmes as he tries to shake away from a defender. Throws out top of Blossom game. Left wing over to Mitchell. Mitchell brings it toward the top. A shimmy shake. A pass over to Reed. Reed fumbles it. But he goes back to center court stripe. And now he's got six seconds to shoot. A toss to Mitchell. Mitchell's got to make a move. A glides to the rim as he travels. Yeah, that, I was going to say it looked like a travel from Mitchell. That's going to be the fifth scratch that sixth turnover of the game for Clemson. But the Tigers still lead by eight, 29-21. It looked like a, a pretty good Euro step, honestly, just watching the replay. But uh, nonetheless, you really like the attack mentality of Shelton Mitchell on that possession. But uh, they did a – UNC Wilmington a nice job poking the ball away from Reed, and they really uh, flustered that whole end of the possession for the Tigers. Ingram out top, throws right side to Bryce. Bryce will establish Kaycock on the right block. Shot goes up, blocked away by Elijah Thomas again, and tapped all the way out to center court, where it'll be UNC Wilmington basketball. That's a great position inside by Kaycock. He got really three feet from the rim. And a great recovery by Thomas. It was a good recovery. We've seen him block, I think, two or three shots already in the game. and He's a guy that did come in with a tremendous reputation, but you knew that was an element of the game he could add to this Tiger defense. Especially when Clemson has a size advantage like they do today Correct. against a smaller team. Ingram fade away from the foul, uh, from the baseline. Missed it. Might have been partially blocked. Rebound Clemson. Marquise Reed up the middle of the floor. A lob to Thomas. It was way too fast. Got fumbled around. Blossom game missed the layup while he was just hanging out in outer space. And uh, Clemson can't convert. So UNC Wilmington brings it the other way with an eight-point deficit. A crafty Layup inside as Jordan Talley threw it up with a little bit of English, and he needed all the mustard he could put on that thing to somehow squeeze it in and make it a six-point game. Well, he caught the Tigers in it at a disadvantage that time as Blossom game in transition had to check him, and he, he has uh, such a speed advantage over a 6-7 Blossom game. Blossom game on the right baseline, takes it in from Reed, darts inside, ball got knocked around, Thomas comes up with it, he's able to draw a foul inside. Missed the shot, kind of a clunky possession for Clemson, but it's going to result in free throws. Now, Elijah Thomas, as a freshman at Texas A&M, went 6 of 18 at the free throw line. Well, he's 5 for 10 this year, doing a little bit better, and that's certainly part of his game that he's worked on quite a bit. Thomas was actually pretty critical at the foul line in the win over South Carolina. He's going to shoot his first two home free throws here. That one's short. Missed it. It's Clemson 29, UNC Wilmington 23. Well, he, he hit four or six uh, against the Gamecocks, including a few in crunch time. He also had a bucket in, in the last four or five minutes of the game, too, as Clemson kind of battled back to get that win after going down by four with four to play. But, uh, you know, his, this young man has, has certainly added another element to this team both on both ends of the floor, and I expect that's only going to get better as they continue to incorporate him into the team. Second free throw good by Thomas. Tigers lead by a touchdown. It's 30-23. to 23. And Thomas will check out of the game, get a little bit of a, an applause. And the Tiger faithful here at Little John. Well deserved. Great yeah. minutes out of that young man. Seven points in seven minutes, along with a rebound and a couple of swats. 
City Jete back onto the floor. UNC Wilmington with a basketball. Wilmington, Jordan Talley running the point right now. Drives right of the painted area, picks up his dribble, runs into trouble, and then throws it to the corner where it's intercepted by Avery Holmes. Up the left sideline, here comes Marquise Reed. Reed, uh, looks like there's some miscommunication there with DeVoe. Tigers hold on to the possession. High on the right, it's Holmes. Coming off a screen, into the right corner. Needs some help, throws to Jete. Jete will scoop it over to DeVoe at the right point. DeVoe with 14 to shoot. Drives right of the painted area. Nice body control by Gabe DeVoe as he ran into traffic but still finished it right of the rim. One of the strongest elements of his improvement has been his ability to attack the basket. We saw him settle for way too many long jumpers as a freshman and a little bit as a sophomore as well, but you've really seen a maturation out of DeVoe uh, so far in this early part of the 16-17 A season. trap in the front court and a foul called against Clemson. I guess they're going to get, oh, they get they Jute. They'll get to Jute. That's going to be his second. I thought they were going to get Reed reaching in from behind, but they instead they get Jute on it. So Eli Thomas is going to find himself getting some more critical minutes. Gabe DeVoe with that bucket there, his first two points of the game. Clemson leads by 9, 32-23. DeVoe averaging 10.5 points per game so far this year. Had uh, that average up around 14 or 15 early in the season. But with Shelton Mitchell back in the lineup, DeVoe's been coming off the bench. Few, a little bit fewer minutes, but still very effective offensive Output and defensive output from DeVoe so far this year. Bryce tries a left wing three. Missed it. Offensive rebound, UNC Wilmington. And I'll tell you, somebody down low got away with a big old push in the back of Eli Thomas in grabbing the rebound. And I think UNC Wilmington will have the basketball when we continue in a moment. Final days of the Ford year end event are here. It's your last chance to get great deals and low leases on a new Ford. Plus, get smart bonus cash on select models on top of other great offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer. UNC Wilmington with a basketball. Tigers on top by nine, 32 to 23. Right wing, it's Bryce, one of the team's leading scorers, and he fumbled the ball in traffic. Blossom game goes to the deck to take it away. Tigers looking for their first double digit lead of the ball game right now as they force another UNC Wilmington turnover. Now, not only does the up tempo style of defense force a lot of turnovers, but they're usually really good at taking care of the basketball as well as Blossom game scores it left to the rim and draws a foul against Bryan. Another chance for a three-point play for Blossom game. And uh, the Tigers, again, scoring a lot of points off turnovers in this game, which is not something you necessarily expected UNC Wilmington to do. They did a great job that time on Marquise Reed. You have to respect his ability to penetrate into the painted area. And as he draws the defense, he knew he had a backside uh, bounce pass open for JB, and, and he's such a good finisher under the rim. He finishes second straight down there. Blossom game to the uh, free throw line for one. Flicks the wrist, shoots, and scores. He's got eight points tonight. Also want to mention, he's now at 1,348 points in his career. Earlier in this game, he passed Larry Nance for 17th yeah, right. in school history on the scoring chart. And he could move up to 15th today, depending on how many points he scores. And that's not bad. Tally drives inside, swatted at by Blossom Game, and the Tigers protecting the rim on the last few possessions. Reed flies up the middle of the floor, gets around a defender, and a finger roll by Reed off the glass, left of the rim. Reed's first two points, and the Tigers are pulling away from Wilmington, 37-23. Boy, a great job that time in transition by Marquise Reed. He's got a repertoire of shots that no one else on the team has, and he showed it on that possession. UNC Wilmington with the ball. It's Tally out top, being chased around. The Tigers just playing very good defense against a team that very likely could play in the NCAA tournament this year. Bryce, left point, steps on the line. A long two is good. He finds the bottom of the net. Hey, you'll take it that time. I thought that was really good on the ball defense that time by Gabe DeVoe. Just give the man a nod, a better step back shot that time by Bryce, who's a, a tough guard one-on-one. -on -one. Mitchell makes a move, gets to the left point, picks up his dribble, bounces left to the painted area. Blossom game powers his way, an offensive foul. Yep, they're going to call it. As he kind of lowered the shoulder a little bit there, and not surprised to see that called. Second foul of the game on JB. And it'll give the ball back to the Seahawks with the Tigers leading 37-25. At Marathon, we serve a lot more than customers. We serve communities. Marathon fueling the American spirit. 2.21 left in the first half, Phil. Well, if you're going to nitpick about little things in the game, one thing you'd say is that Clemson with seven turnovers in the half, you'd like to see that number certainly a little bit lower. Part of it's the product of UNCW's full-court pressure, though. Bryce between the rings, defended by Gabe DeVoe in the man-to-man. -man. 
Brad Brownell trying to tell his defense to spread out a little bit. Bryce, pull-up jump shot from 18, off the heel. It's a long rebound, snatched out of the air by Marquise Reed, who brings the ball up the middle of the floor, lobs it ahead to Thomas. Nice catch by Thomas, lays it up right of the rim, counted in a foul. Thomas knocked to his back, pumps his fist, and he'll go to the line for the and one. And Thomas has some words, too, following his shot. They want to calm him down a little bit, but uh, great recognition that time inside, and Thomas has shown he's got the strength to finish those types of plays underneath the basket. Really love the two-headed monster the Tigers now have at the center position. Combined so far, you've seen 13 points out of the two guys. They haven't missed a shot, talking about Jate and Elijah Thomas uh, from the field. So he's got a chance to to get his first or his second straight double figure game and he puts it in. Yep, 10 points for Thomas. Tigers have their largest lead at 15. It's 40 to 25. And there's the warning I'm talking about. Looks like Thomas is getting worn for a little, being a little bit mouthy toward, I don't know if it's toward the UNCW bench or fans, but nonetheless, Mike Eads is trying to take control of this situation and it looks like he's going to assess some type of either warning or a foul. We'll see what they do here. Mike Eads and Brad Brownell talking it over as uh, Marquise Reed with a nice lob to Thomas. And one of the things in the excitement of the moment, Phil, that we might not have pointed out is that was a phenomenal catch by Elijah Thomas. Now, they're going to call a technical foul on Elijah Thomas because, I mean, in fairness, the talking did continue for a little while. I mean, continued until he got to the free throw line to take the ball from the official. So you, you just the, can't the, do that. The technical wasn't assessed until UNC Wilmington brought the ball. Sure. The so, I mean, it clearly continued into the next yeah. possession. Yeah. And so it puts Denzel Ingram on the free throw line where he's 8 for 13 this year. He knocks in the first. He's going to have one more. Tiger's still up by 14 points. Well, as talented as he is, these are teachable moments for a young man like Elijah Thomas. We have to remember, this is only his 11th career game. So this is a guy that's played just over 100 minutes in college. And so that maturity really hasn't come yet for him. And that's one of the things that Coach B spoke about in pregame, just being consistent with his approach to the game day in and day out. And I think your behavior on the court would fall in that realm as well. Yeah, second free throw good by Ingram as well. And so City Jute will check in for Elijah Thomas. Jute onto the floor with two fouls here. 157 to go in the first half. Clemson 40, UNC Wilmington 27. And the lob inbounds goes to Denzel Ingram. Good looking ball player. Six feet tall, but really quick. Good shooter, great distributor. And now it's Bryce at the top of the key. Pushes right side to Ingram, defended by Mitchell, the man to man. Push it back over to Bryce, tries a left point three. Off the mark, nice rebound, snatched out of the air by Dante Grantham, his fifth board of the game. He races up the middle of the floor himself. Good ball handler, Dante Grantham will throw it left side over to Mitchell. Mitchell dribbles between the rings, weaves the ball between his legs, lobs it to the left baseline for Dante Grantham. Backs his way down, spin, floater on the way from Dante, off the mark, tip back, won't go by Jete. He follows his own miss and a gentle touch with the right hand from City Jete, who's just padding the stats there. Got himself a rebound and a bucket, and the Tigers lead by 15. Well, I was going to say, we finally saw our center miss a shot, but what does he do? Gathers the offensive rebound, puts it back in. Floater along the baseline is good. I think that might have been Ingram. Couldn't tell there. A lot of traffic around the rim, but UNC Wilmington scores it, and it was Flemings with his first two points of the game. He averages 17.6. Tigers have done well on him so far. Mitchell drives inside, draws a foul on the floor. It's the 10th against Wilmington, so two free throws coming for Shelton Mitchell, who's already got six points today. Tigers lead 42-29 over UNC Wilmington with 55 seconds left in the first half. Well, Mitchell's had a great four game. You see him with three assists, just one turnover in 60 minutes. That's more like the ratio we're expecting to see out of a guy like Shelton Mitchell. I thought Maybe got a little bit frustrated last game against South Carolina. It's tight as they play man-to-man defense. Things kind of compounded on him a little bit. You see him knock down his uh, fifth free throw. He's up to seven points now in the game. But uh, Shelton's a young man that, that makes this team go offensively, in my opinion. And uh, he has done a great job here in this first half. Converts the second as well. It's 44-29. Clemson ahead of UNC Wilmington. Tigers looking pretty good here through the first 20 minutes of play. Now it's uh, going to be Chuck Ogbodo checking into the game for the first time. And they whistle away from the ball. I missed it. I'm just going to be honest, I missed it. <laughs> I didn't see it either. So it looks like Ingram's going to shoot a couple free throws here. It's 44-29. Clemson leads UNC Wilmington with 46.6 seconds left in the half. Ingram, pretty good free throw shooter. Transfer from UNC Charlotte. And uh, when he was a sophomore, he helped Charlotte win the Puerto Rico tip-off with great teams like Michigan and 
Kansas State, and all sorts of other opponents there. Well, that's a good it's the same tournament that we played in earlier this year, and Ingram knocks down the first free Just throw. Just wasn't in Puerto Rico. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Second free throw coming for Ingram. UNC Wilmington picked by many to win the CAA this year. Converts the second free throw as well. 13-point lead for the Tigers, 44-31. Let's see if the Tigers can take care of the basketball here as that full-court pressure defense continues, and Reed throws it away, intercepted by Richmond. Richmond dumps it back to Ingram, who tries a right-wing three. It rims off. Jate taps the rebound to himself, gets it ahead to Mitchell. Mitchell brings it middle of the floor. A six-second difference between the shot and the game clock, and the Tigers will slow it up here. Can't say enough about Clemson's defense. 31% for UNC Wilmington. Came in shooting over 50 on the season. Obviously, Clemson, the biggest challenge they have faced thus far. Yeah, they're but three nonetheless, for 16 yeah, from the outside. Really today, stifling so. them and making them take tough contested one Eight to shoot. Mitchell drives. Had it poked away. And it's going to be taken away by Ingram. And 10 seconds left in the half. We'll see if Wilmington can cut into the deficit. Right wing. Mosley left alone for a deep three. It's off the mark. Nice fight for the ball by City Jete. He takes it away. Gets it ahead to Mitchell. Half court Shot by Mitchell off the heel of the rim. And no good. And the Tigers go into the locker room with a 13-point lead. Unfortunate that shot didn't go in, Phil, but it's better than UNC Wilmington getting a late bucket and getting some momentum. Yeah, it sure is. But uh, talk about the last 10 minutes of that half. Clemson really putting the clamps down defensively, converting in transition offensively. And I thought over time their inside game started to develop in the half-court set as we saw them really get into UNC Wilmington. Coming up, the Solid Orange Halftime Report. We'll take a look at the stats and the Verizon out-of-town scoreboard. That's all coming up on the Solid Orange Halftime Report. Clemson leads UNC Wilmington 44-31 on the Clemson Tiger Sports Network from Learfield. Friday, you're seeing about as much ball pressure as you're going to face with two teams in two consecutive games. That's a good point. Tiger so second half response security. brought to you by Selective Insurance, home, auto, business, and flood insurance solutions. Selective response is everything. Learn more, selective.com. UNC Wilmington gets the ball first to open up the second half. And the Tigers with a 13-point lead chasing around Ingram, who dumps it right side. A three on the way is good from Ambrose Mosley, who shoots 44% from the outside on the season. And the Seahawks cut it to 10 on their first possession. Clemson brings the ball up the floor from left to right from our vantage point. Mitchell will throw it to Grantham high on the left. Grantham offers to Holmes between the circles. Man-to-man defense by UNC Wilmington, and Holmes has to go hustle into the backcourt to go after the basketball. And it was last touched by UNC Wilmington, but good hustle from Ambrose Mosley to really do everything he could to shake things up there. Yeah, he did. And Mosley's an interesting guy. That uh, He's another one of those transfer players. And, Phil, there's only 10 on the shot clock here as Clemson inbounds from all the way underneath the UNC Wilmington basket. they got to go the length of the floor in just 10 seconds. Grantham inbounds to Mitchell. Let's see if they realize here. Mitchell tries to dart up the middle of the floor. Brings it quickly to City Jete. Nice reverse layup. Beautiful floor general and Mitchell to set that all up. Well, he threw it just high enough to go over the defender in the paint standing there. It's where City had to catch it. Makes an easy move to the basket. alley-oop on the other end. My goodness, Devontae Kaycock throws it down right of the rim. And it's uh, acrobatic first minute here, the second half. 46-36, Tigers by 10. You know, I read in their game notes, Kaycox, a guy that's second in school history in career dunks, and uh, that, that would explain a lot of his uh, field goal percentage, which is over 70. Grantham, right wing, dribbles to the foul line, bounces left wing over to Holmes. Holmes coming off a screen from Grantham, drives inside, lobs right wing over to Mitchell, pump fake, drives the baseline, he's closed off, a double team there. Launches out top to Grantham, three to shoot, steps into a straight on three, Dante Grantham left it short. Rebound chased down in the corner by Kaycock, and here comes UNC Wilmington. Tigers lead by 10, but the Seahawks on a bit of a run. Flemings tries a right wing three, missed it. Long rebound out to Avery Holmes. It brings it middle of the floor. Offers right side to Mitchell. Mitchell from the right point. Defended in the man-to-man here by Ambrose Mosley. Backs off to the top of the paw. Mitchell now dribbles over to the bottom of the paw and offers over to Avery Holmes two minutes into the second half. Crossover dribble from Holmes. Gets a screen from Blossom. Game in the corner. Fadeaway shot off the mark, but a foul called. And Holmes in the act of shooting will get a few free throws out of this. At least two. Yeah, they're going to say it's two. The foul goes against Denzel Ingram, his second. Holmes is a guy that hasn't scored from the field so far, but we saw him knock down three uh, straight free throws when he was fouled on a long wing three-point attempt. But uh, he's a guy that's 
Yeah, I think his scoring numbers are going to kind of fluctuate a little bit this year. You're going to see some games with him hit some bigger numbers when he when he gets cooking from three. But other games, he doesn't need to score as much, and that's good for Clemson because he's a guy you want expending his energy defensively because he's such a good guarder of the basketball. That's a good point. Both free throws good from Holmes. You look at a stretch last year, Holmes went 4, 13, 0, 17, 5, 17, 8, 17. I mean, he's like that. You never yep. know what you're going to get from him from a point standpoint, but he's very valuable. Ingram tries a really deep three, missed it. Rebound by Grantham, his sixth of the game, and here come the Tigers. It's Mitchell up the left sideline, brings it middle of the floor, doesn't want to get trapped there. So now at center circle, Mitchell sets the offense up. Screen to his right from Jete, runs into a double team, bounces out top Jete. A bounce inside, the Blossom game. Nice quick catch, turnaround shoot from right over that half circle in the paint. And it's 10 for Blossom game, 50 to 36, Tigers by 14. Puts Blossom game in double figures. He's the only one game he hasn't been in double figures was Alabama. He's very consistent early in the season. Flemings drives the right baseline. Nice reverse lip by Flemings. He got around Blossom game and was able to finish it with a left hand. Well, that's what Coach Brownell was talking about in his pregame interview is that that's a tough matchup for Blossom game. It's 6'7", 220. The guys are going to, he's going to be defending when you're in a four guard look are going to be a lot smaller and a lot quicker than him. Holmes. Spins around Ingram there nicely and then backs off to the top of the key. 16 on the shot clock. Bounce to Blossom. Game at the right point. They got him dragging the pivot foot a little bit upon the catch. Blossom game with the travel. Tenth turnover of the game for the Tigers. And as you alluded to at the uh, halftime mark there, that's really pretty much the only category in which the uh, Tigers could improve pretty drastically. Everything, everything else looking pretty good. 56% from the floor. 94% at the foul line. 12-point lead on the scoreboard. Well, and sometimes when you play a little bit faster, and Clemson's playing even faster in the half-court sets, I feel like, in yeah. this season, you're going to be prone to more turnovers, and Coach realizes that and understands that. Bryce working on Grantham. Great, Great defense by Grantham, but a good job of drawing Grantham into the air, going underneath him and knocking down an elbow jumper. Bryce now has 10. And UNC Wilmington within 10. This game by no means over, 16-24 to play in the second half here. The Tigers trying to move to 10-2 and on the season. Right wing blossom game. Looking inside, nothing there. Throws out top Jete. Jete decks it once, scoops it over to Avery Holmes. Holmes from the top of the key. Picks up his dribble at the right point. Guns it left side to Blossom Game. Drives the baseline. Goes up and lays it up left to the rim. Blossom Game has a dozen. Tigers lead by as many. Boy, a pretty drive that time. He attacks the, the poor closeout from UNC Wilmington. And there's not many play players in the country better at finishing around the rim than Blossom Game. Ingram out top. Left side to Bryce. Bryce dribbles to the top of the key and throws it right onto the C. On the sign right by the UNC Wilmington bench. Eighth turnover of the game for the Seahawks. Timeout on the floor. 15-51 to go in the second half here at Little John College. On Tuesday at 7 o'clock, of course, the Tigers' next game in general is at Wake Forest at noon on Saturday. Double, t uh, double header here along the Clemson Tigers Sports Network from Learfield. ACC opener and then the Fiesta Bowl. Blossom game has it at the left point. Tigers with the basketball on a 12-point lead. Working against Flemings. Drives, closed off, kicks out top. Holmes, NBA three, it's left short. Rebound Bryce for UNC Wilmington. C.J. Bryce brings the ball up the floor from right to left from our vantage point. Dribbles behind his back, picks up his dribble, runs into traffic, offers right side. Flemings, a juke, a jive, a dart, and a travel. Good job of help defense that time by Jate just stepping up in the lane, maybe a couple more feet. Change the entire possession for UNC Wilmington. Ninth turnover of the game for the Seahawks. We said it at the top of the broadcast, one of the better teams in the country at taking care of the basketball. Their turnover percentage on offense was fifth in the nation. And yet they've given it away quite a bit here tonight. Right wing, nice pump, pump fake by Holmes. Drives inside and lays it up right to the rim. He got his man in the air and then had easy sailing to the rim. Where he was challenged once he finally got there, but he scored it right to the rim to give Clemson a 14-point lead. A lob and a dunk left to the rim for Kaycock. That's the second alley-oop he's had. Ingram left it up there perfectly for him left to the rim. And it's 54-42. Lead of a dozen for the Tigers. Right side Blossom game. It's two on one. Blossom game challenges Kaycock and scores over top of him. 56-42. Really a back and forth affair right now. You can see how a guy like Kaycock shoots 
<laughs> as good a percentage as he does. He never shoots it from more than like four or five feet away. Fleming's floater off the mark. Ball volleyballed around. Bryce comes up with it. Shoots over Jate. Nice defense by City. Offensive rebound. Kaycock goes out top to Ingram. Work it into the right corner. Fleming's for three. Short. Weak side rebound. Jerron Blossom game. Up the right sideline to Shelton Mitchell. Mitchell, a little head fake to get free in the open court. Kicks right wing. Three on the way from Holmes. Rattles it in. Avery Holmes has 10. A beautiful assist by Shelton Mitchell. Set it all up. Tigers have their biggest lead at 17. Well, you're seeing Shelton Mitchell in his element. Absolutely great find that time as he got by the defender, drew the uh, drew another defender coming at him, and then he found a wide open Holmes on the wing. And, and we talked about this during the break. Clemson has so many guys that can get hot. It's, it's interesting to see the numbers and the way they're going to play out this season, but you think the team is going to be better. Some guys' stats may not look all that sexy at times, but you see a guy like Holmes come out on fire to start the second half. All right, timeout by Kevin Keats. We'll take it as well. 17-point lead for the Tigers on the Clemson Tiger Sports Network. From there. Leads by 17. A nice job getting it in against pressure. And then another dunk by Kaycock as Brian, Bryce did a nice job of just spinning around some defenders and feeding Kaycock the ball right in the middle of the paint. So he throws down again. Clemson's lead trimmed to 15. But Clemson... Handling the ball pretty well here in the second half so far. Marquise Reed has the ball in the left wing. Drives inside. Throws out top. Grantham a straight on two. Got it. Dante Grantham. Good looking shot. He's got seven. He was shooting that 17-footer quite a bit in warm-ups today. And it looks like it paid off as he's got seven and the Tigers lead by 17. Yeah, he's a guy that has got the uh, skills for that mid-range game. Bryce, baseline, fade away, off the mark, rebound, weak side, Marquise Reed. Brings it middle of the floor, dribbling with his head up, looking for a teammate. Stops top of the key, bounces inside to Thomas. Pump fake and an easy dunk with two hands right over the front of the rim. Got a defender to shake off him, and Thomas has a dozen. Well, a pretty job finding him that time by Reed. We've seen him connect with Thomas a couple times now for easy buckets, and Thomas is 5-for-5 five five from the field. He's a guy that already came in shooting 67% for his career. I think. Yeah, that's right. 63-44. Clemson on top by 19. Kaycock top of the key. Hands off to Ingram. Curling off a screen. Runs straight into Thomas. Needs some help. Finds Fleming. Chucks a three. It's off the mark. Nice fight for the rebound by Thomas. He lost it out of bounds. But he challenged Kaycock there for the rebound. And it'll be UNC Wilmington ball with 12.43 to play in the second half. And the Tigers leading by 19. Tiger basketball brought to you by Quicken Loans. Quicken Loans for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. Fleming's hands off to Ingram. Ingram skips over to the left point. Cross court pass into the right corner. Richmond catch and shoot three. Off the mark. Rebound Gabe DeVoe. DeVoe dribbles up the middle of the floor looking for a teammate. Finds Holmes on the right wing. Thought about a three. Now crossover dribble. Now he'll set up the half court set. DeVoe. Flips it over to Reed. Flings it into the corner for Grantham. Dribbles up to the foul line. Scoops it back to Holmes. Holmes passes left of the painted area for Thomas. Backs his way in against Kaycock. Nice spin move. Put it up gently with the right hand. It's a little bit short. Rebound UNC Wilmington. Fleming's up the middle of the floor. Oh, his layup was rejected by Grantham, but a foul call. They'll give it to Thomas. And that'll be Thomas's third, I think. Yes, that'll be his third. Yep, third foul on him. And uh, nice job of pushing in transition that time. Uh, by UNC Wilmington as Flemings is going to get a chance to add to his point total, but Clemson's done a great job on him. Here's a guy coming in shooting, shooting really well and, and scoring 17 a game. Was well, two for nine from the field, and he hasn't hit a three in six attempts either. This is his first trip to the free throw line. He's got four turnovers as well at 21 minutes. Flemings now has five after converting there. He was the MOP of the CAA tournament last year, and he actually led the CAA in offensive efficiency rating. Well, he hasn't been very efficient tonight, to your point. And you got to give the Tigers a lot of credit for that. Only one assist, four turnovers, two for nine from the floor. And he will attempt a second free throw here with the Tigers leading by 18. And it'll stay at 18 as he misses that one. Blossom game tears down his third rebound of the game to go this, with 14 points. This is the first time we've seen Clemson approach that smaller lineup where it's Blossom game is really your five man and, and Grantham will swing to the four spot. Left wing, Holmes, pump fake. Now he'll drive the baseline under the basket, reverses the layup. Nice job by Avery Holmes. He's got a dozen. Yeah, great shot by him, and he's come out with an attack mentality in the second half. Largest lead of the game for Clemson by 20. It's 65-45. Drive inside and a foul called against Gabe DeVoe, who got plowed over by Richmond. And I think the crowd's a little disappointed with the call, but it'll be UNC Wilmington basketball when we continue in a moment. Colonial Athletic Association this year. And... Uh, 
team that went to the NCAA tournament one year ago, lost to Duke in a pretty close game. They're 11 and one this season, but quickly on their way to 11 and two if this result holds up. Clemson leads 65-45 over UNC Wilmington. The Tigers getting ready, of course, to head to Wake Forest to open up ACC play. The Deeks got their opener out of the way today, Phil. A loss to Florida State. But uh, as you remember that game in Winston-Salem a year ago, yes. the Tigers scored 20 in the first half, 56 That's in right. the second half. And you would expect that this Clemson team should be able to score. They might not win the game, but it should be a, a game where they're able to score because this Wake Forest team this year is much better on offense than they are on defense. Right, and, and 20 points and a half seems kind of surreal to what we're seeing out of, out of Clemson these days. Right. But, um, you know, that, that's a chance for the Tigers to go on the road, open ACC play with a road win, which hasn't happened all that much in Clemson's history. Ingram missed the shot from the right wing. Ball got tapped out of bounds, and it'll go back to Clemson. 11.29 to play here in the second half, and the Tigers are leading by 20. It's 65-45. to 45. But you're right, any win along Tobacco Road is a good win as Shelton Mitchell will bring the ball to the floor. And another fact that uh, people don't really think about because of the uh, long or the winless streak at Chapel Hill is that Clemson hasn't had a whole lot of success at Wake Forest either. That would be their first back-to-back -back wins at Reed Arch had his Joel. pocket picked, but Tally traveled after stealing the ball. So it will be Clemson basketball, but you're right. I mean, back-to-back -back wins historically in Winston-Salem, very tough to come by. They've done it previously, but they haven't done it in Lawrence Joel Coliseum, which was constructed in 1989. So... To, to have the chance to do that uh, would certainly be a feather in their cap and be a great way to start ACC play. But obviously, first things first, you want to handle Wilmington here in this last 11 minutes continue to play solid basketball. Grantham with the ball on the right wing. Pump fake. fake, drives, pulls up, spins, passes to the foul line. DeVoe hauls it in and then scores a floater from the ACC logo. Nice move by Gabe DeVoe, who's got four tonight. The Tigers lead by 22, 67 to 45. Ingram with the ball high on the right as UNC Wilmington brings the ball in the other direction. It's from right to left from our vantage point here. It's, Darryl, uh, it's uh, Jordan Talley with the ball high on the left. Talley works against Gabe DeVoe. Darts inside, puts his shoulder down, and then draws a foul against DeVoe. That's the second time DeVoe is feeling a little bit picked on. He's picked up fouls while just getting bowled over here. But uh, free throws coming for UNC Wilmington. Uh, Wake Forest and Virginia Tech, the two teams that Clemson will see twice this year outside of the rivalry rotation with Florida State and Georgia Tech. And so when you think of, as Tally misses the first free throw, when you think of all the teams you could play twice, it's not a bad set of four. I mean, right. it's a good challenge, but still winnable to yes. play those teams twice. It's not like having to do home and home with Duke or North Carolina or Louisville or Virginia. Right, and it rotates every year. Uh, obviously, now with 15 teams in the league, it takes a while to get through that rotation yep. uh, of the other two that are not your primary partners. But, uh, you know, Wake Forest, Virginia Tech, very improved programs under under some good coaches with Danny Manning, Buzz Williams. But you're right, I, I like Clemson's chances in those as opposed to some of the heavyweights. DeVoe, right of the painted area. Nice spin move to free up and then draw a foul. That foul goes against Bryce. And so DeVoe's going to get a couple of free throws out of this. 10-19 to play in the first half. It's 67-46. UNC Wellington made one of two free throws back there at the other end. So Gabe DeVoe, you know, we talked about him last year not getting to the free throw line nearly enough. He had this big stretch of 15 straight games where he didn't shoot any free throws at all. <laughs> well, DeVoe swishes a free throw here, and he's done a, a nice job of at least getting some opportunities at the stripe. Now he just needs to convert a little more frequently. He's 61%. That's mostly because he went one of six against South Carolina. Second free throw there is good, and it's a 23-point lead, 69-46. Yeah, I was just going to make the point. He came in shooting 70% last last game, but he, for whatever reason, couldn't connect with the, the uh, – <laughs> Couldn't connect from the free throw line against They're the They're giving the ball to UNC Wellington as Tally threw up a wild shot attempt that didn't I, even hit the backboard, and they're saying Blossom Game grazed it. So I guess you have to give Blossom have to Game give a block. block. There, yeah. it didn't look like he touched it. I didn't think so either. He'll, he stat, he'll pad the stats. Yeah. Baseline jumper from Bryce is good. A nice little jab step to free himself up and then knock down a baseline jumper from 18. And so it's a 21-point lead for the Tigers, 69-48 over UNC Wilmington. And now a foul up the middle of the floor. DeVoe draws another one. And this one will uh, give Clemson the ball at the midcourt strike. Well, we're starting to see a little bit of gamesmanship between Talley and DeVoe. They've gone at it on a couple possessions now. Uh, DeVoe uh, drawing the foul that time on Talley. Talley had done it a couple occasions on him, most notably when he's pulled over the last 
possession down first, offensively you mentioned. Yep, first foul on tally. Third of the half against UNC Wilmington. Under 10 to play in the second half. Tigers lead 69-48 against UNC Wilmington. Marquise Reed high on the left. Looking, looking, and yeah. he double dribbled. Yeah, he lost it. He was going to actually pass the ball to Blossom game, realize it wasn't there, and before he could catch himself, the ball actually slipped out of his hands. Unforced error. Ingram bounces to Bryan, work it outside. Right wing three from Richmond off the mark, and then Reed almost fumbles it out of bounds, but he's able to stay balanced along the baseline there. He'll bring it into the front court himself. No backcourt pressure there from UNC Wilmington. As Marquise Reed will almost throw it away into the backcourt. Nice save by Shelton Mitchell. Mitchell, a little shimmy shake. Picks up his dribble, lobs it to Blossom game. Left of the painted area. A juke move, a layup attempt, and a foul on Bryan. So JB going to get some free throws here. Trying to add to 14-point night. Jerron Blossom game has 14, 12 for Holmes, 12 for Elijah Thomas in just 12 minutes. We haven't seen Elijah in this second half, have we? We haven't seen him much. Maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah. I want to say oh, yeah, he, he did. He came, in and drew, he came in and drew a foul uh, in, this, in this half. Thomas has three fouls against him. He's the only Tiger in foul trouble, although DeVoe has three as well. Blossom game connects on the first free throw. 15 for him. 70-48. to 48. Tigers lead UNC Wilmington. And we talked about at the top of the broadcast, Phil, whether or not this game might be kind of like a Davidson game. It's well, feeling that way. The, the, the Tigers might get to 100 today. It's not impossible as the second free throw is good, 71-48. to 48. Well, we saw him get to 95 in that win over Davidson, which is still the highest scoring game in the Brad Brown L era. But uh, you're right. I mean, the way things are tracking, and then Clemson obviously in, in the bonus situation looks good too. Ingram misses straight on three. Nice fight by Blossom game. He tipped that ball away from uh, UNC Wilmington. And now on the right wing, Marquise Reed gets – no, they're going to call the foul on Marquise Reed. As the ball was passed to Reed on the right side, there was a collision of bodies. And they're saying Marquise Reed did not have the right to go after that basketball the way he did. So – Turnover given to Gabe DeVoe for an errant pass. Marquise Reed picks up the foul. That's going to be his first. A 23-point lead for the Tigers as DeVoe checks out of the game. Reed, Grantham, Mitchell, Blossom game, and Holmes. The five on the floor for Clemson right now. 8.43 to go on a turning second half clock. Right side. Richmond drives, kicks out. Bryce, left point three, bottoms. Bryce is the guy that's heated up here in the second half as he's now up to 15 for the game. His second three in six attempts, but they've made him take 17 shots to get to his 15 points, so they've done a good job on him overall. Holmes lobs out top to Mitchell. Mitchell sets up the half-court offense. Passes left side to Grantham, who cuts toward the basket. Nice glide to the rim by Grantham, who lays it up right of the rim. He's got nine, and the Tigers lead 73-51. It was a tough offensive week for Grantham last week. Yeah. Nothing at Alabama. Limited points against South Carolina. They were critical in the first half. He didn't score in the second half. But, man, to see Grantham kind of put it back together in this one is nice. A lob inside to Kaycock, and then he scored it. Are they going to count it? It looks like they will, and he'll go to the free throw line for one after the foul on Grantham when we continue. Better equipped now to play that way than they have been in the past. The, the trick will be can Clemson play defensively and get back in transition against such a high-powered scoring offense like North Carolina. But that should be a, a ton of fun next week in Little John, regardless of the outcome uh, this weekend in Wake Forest. Kaycock misses the free throw. Rebound by City Jete. Pass over to Dante Grantham. Grantham works against pressure defense, brings it up the middle of the floor. Bounces high on the right to Mitchell, and the Tigers set up the half-court set. 73-53, Clemson by 20. Between the rings, it's Marquise Reed. He darts left of the painted area, pulls up from about eight feet, missed it off the heel, and a foul called against UNC Wilmington going after the rebound. There's City Jete drawing fouls again. I think it's Denzel Ingram this time. Getting closer to that bonus situation where uh – you know, if the Tigers can get to the free throw stripe, you can see that point total really start to mount. Third foul of the game against Ingram, three against Bryan, the backup center. Tony, the Tigers are 10 for 12 from two-point shots in this second half. Shows the uh, well, the ability to really get to the rim and score it efficiently inside. Make it 11 for 13. <laughs> Grantham passes to the left block. Blossom game will finish it. He's got 18 points, a quiet 18 for J.B. Tigers lead 73-53. Extremely quiet, but uh, one of the things you can say about UNC Wilmington, as much as they pressure the ball and all that, they don't really have the size equipped to deal with a lot of teams inside. I think that's why you see their uh, defensive field goal percentage not very high mark. 
Flemings forces up a floater with the left hand and got it to go. 75-55 the score. I said that last one wrong. It was 22, now it's 20. Blossom game, a little out of control. Missed the shot. Offensive rebound, City Jete. Ball got knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers. 6.56 left in the second half here. 24 on the timer. 75-55 the Tiger advantage. Bud Light is a proud partner of Clemson basketball. Reminds all fans to enjoy the game and drink responsibly. Go Tigers. Dante Grantham from low on the right will inbound the ball to City Jete. He scoops it over to Shelton Mitchell. And the Tigers set things up from center circle with 17 on the shot clock. And, man, Mitchell being defended way out at half court. Drives, and he got fouled on the drive. Mitchell is so crafty with the basketball and does such a good job of somehow keeping it on a string and not losing it as he jukes and jives through traffic. And Mitchell goes back to the free throw line where he's made a good living today, six for six. A mark of a good point guard is one that doesn't put the ball down or uh, pick the ball up and, and get caught. He rarely does that unless he's reversing the basketball or things of that nature. He does a great job of keeping his handle alive, and his handles are so good. We've seen him use a variety of moves to get by defenders throughout the evening and really throughout the season, but just another guy that continues to get comfortable in uh, in Brad Brownell's rotation, and I think he's had an enormous impact, obviously, in this big winning streak for the Tigers. They look to push to eight games. Mitchell makes both free throws. He's now 21 of 23 this season at the foul line. That's a great asset to have, especially for a guy that that handles the basketball as much as he does. Bryce straight on jumper, missed it. Long rebound to Reed, accelerates into the front court, one on two, and still finishes right of the rim. Marquise Reed has four. Tigers lead by 24, 79-55. He's got that sneaky speed where you never, you you don't expect him to get caught from behind when you see him leaking out in transition. Ingram baseline jumper from two is good. His foot was on the line. That was a tough shot over Avery Holmes, 79-57. Ingram's a tough, scrappy little player. He's they're, they're going to have a great year with him running point. Lost they're going to be a load for teams in the Colonial. We'll pitch it back over to Shelton Mitchell, high on the right. Mitchell looks and finds Reed at the left point. Under six minutes to go. Reed accelerates, gets to the rim again, but can't finish this time. Rebound Kaycock. And here comes UNC Wilmington up the floor from right to left. Bryce will kick right side. Flemings for three. Long. Ball tapped around and over the back. The foul called against Kaycock. That'll be his fourth. Yep, good job that time of getting position by Blossom game as he corrals his fourth rebound of the game. Tigers doing a good job on the boards yet again. I think they're up to a plus 10 or plus 11 margin. We saw them out-rebound South Carolina. One of the hallmarks of Frank Martin coach teams is how well they rebound the basketball. Did a really nice job against Alabama, too. So you feel like that's another area that Tigers continue to shore up as they get closer to conference play. They're getting better at that. They yes. weren't very good early in the season on right. the glass, and, and they certainly are improving, and it helps to have depth at the center position that's now, true. something they didn't have early on. Blossom game to shoot a one-and-one, one, and he missed the front end. JB's numbers at the foul line, a little bit lower than they were a year ago. He's four for five at the strike tonight. Tigers lead by 22. Kaycock inside, lays it in, counted in a foul. He plows over Shelton Mitchell, and Mitchell says, well, why did I sacrifice my body for that? He was inside the half circle there, and it's going to be another and one for Kaycock, who's really having kind of a a great night. I mean, he's got 14.6 rebounds. Yeah, he's, he's had a really good night, and he's, he's only missed one field goal doing it. I mean, he rarely takes shots outside of his comfort zone. I like players that are kind of self-aware. And he certainly is that. He missed the free throw. Blossom game gets his fifth rebound. Tigers lead by 20, 79 to 59. Kaycock knows where his bread is buttered, and uh, he knows where his area is to operate in, and he doesn't leave it very often. Mitchell left point, exuding some poise right now as UNC Wilmington was all over the place defensively, and he backed off and set this thing up in the half-court set. Reed, nice crossover dribble right of the painted area. In traffic, dumps to Jete, who finishes left of the rim. Counted in a foul. That's the fifth on Kaycock. He's gone. Boy, a nice job of finishing that time through contact by Jete. Thought that was a really good pass from Reed, but Jete, using his left hand, which is not his natural hand, gets it to go despite the contact at the basket. He's a guy that's had quietly a good game himself. 10 points, his first time in double digits since the fourth game of the season when we saw him back-to-back-to-back in those games down in Orlando score double figures. This is the first time he's been in since then. He's got 10 points and eight rebounds to boot, so a really nice, efficient 19 minutes from City today. Well, who would have thought the Tigers would have five in double figures today? (laughs) That's been discussed a little bit. Hey, (laughs) got a couple more that can get there too. Grantham with nine and uh, six for DeVoe, although it doesn't 
We don't know how much more minutes those guys may play. You may not see them, may not see Grantham again in this game. But DeVoe's the kind of guy that can come in late and get really hot and score double figures quickly. Jute knocks down the free throw. Tigers lead by 23. It's 82 to 59 as we approach the five minute mark in this ball game. Tigers playing really well defensively tonight. UNC Wilmington 36% from the floor. Ingram a fadeaway three is good. That's just a tough shot. 82-62 the Tiger advantage. Shelton Mitchell accelerates into the front court. Pulls up at the left point. Throws between the circles for Avery Holmes. Down to the right wing. It's Reed. A touch pass down low to Jete on the right block. Powers in. Puts up a shot with the left hand. Missed it. Offensive rebound. Blossom game. No good. The put back and a foul called. Blossom game goes to the line to try to give himself another 20-point effort. He's had so many of those throughout the course of his career. His average is 17.4 so far this year. And he's sitting at 18 right now with seven rebounds. 28 minutes. Nice to see him back up his 10 rebound effort against South Carolina, which I thought was critical in the game. One of the, show one of the elements of toughness Coach B had spoke about in his pregame interview, but uh, to back it up today with seven in just 28 minutes is a, is a nice number for him. He continues to get those rebound numbers up more where we're accustomed to seeing them. Blossom game makes both. He has 20 indeed, and it's 84 to 62. Clemson by 22. As UNC Wilmington brings the ball off the floor from right to left. Ingram will offer high on the right over to Flemings. Flemings defended by Blossom game. Tries to call for a screen, runs into a double team. Richmond comes up with it, offers out to Ingram. Another hesitation three by Ingram. He kind of clutched through the air like a la Marcus Page in the national championship game there and still somehow finds the strength to knock that down from 23 feet. 19-point lead for Clemson. It's 84-65. to 65. Shelton Mitchell high on the left. Under four minutes to play. Mitchell gets around a defender, accelerates, stops at the foul line, throws it to the left point, and Reed. Reed hesitates. Kick out top to Blossom game, a jab step. Now a drive, left of the painted area. Floater on the way, off the mark. It was really more of a gentle fadeaway. He missed it, and the foul against City Jete going for the rebound will be Jete's third. Timeout on the floor. 3.43 to go in the second half. 84-65, Clemson leads UNC Wilmington on the Clemson Tiger Sports Network from Learfield. wins against top 100 already, Phil, and not even have played the ACC schedule, which is going to be almost exclusively top 100 games. They're going to have 15 out of 18 against top 100. The only two teams in the ACC that aren't in the top 100 right now are Georgia Tech and Boston College. That's right. And, uh, we saw, talked about during break. How about this? Uh, Nebraska wins at Indiana in the Big Ten opener for both. That's a, a boost for Clemson's RPI as well. Absolutely. As Nebraska gets to 7-6, and six, we've seen them be a helter-skelter team so far this season. Lost at home to Gardner-Webb. Come back a couple weeks later and beat Indiana in Assembly Hall. That's not easy to do. And it's eight, you know, an 87-83 win for uh, the Cornhuskers. That'll help Clemson as well. That was a good-looking, competitive Hard-fought win that the Tigers eked out uh, to close out in November. One of two free throws for Bryan. Offensive rebound, UNC Wilmington, and Richmond scores it right of the rim. So it's a 16-point game, 84-68 to with 3.34 to go. Tigers need to take care of the basketball here and hopefully finish off a couple possessions with some buckets. Holmes pressured at the pole, throws to Blossom game, top of the key. And the Tigers... Standing around a little bit offensively. He'll scoop it over to Shelton Mitchell here. With 17 seconds ran off before they're even going to get into a set, which is just going to be a clear out in a ball screen. <laughs> Mitchell with four to shoot. Spins away from a defender. Floater from the ACC logo off the mark. Tap back won't quite fall in. Rebound UNC Wilmington. Ball tipped into the front court by Ingram. But up the sideline, he uh, lost the ball. Barely grazed the sideline there, and it'll be Clemson basketball. So, 11th turnover of the game for UNC Wilmington. 13 giveaways for the Tigers. And considering that nine of those came in the first half, Clemson really settled things down nicely in the second half. They did, and they, and they continued to run, which uh, is, is all the more impressive uh, when you run that much that Clemson did in the second half and not turn the basketball over. That's a positive sign. Under three minutes to play. Tigers bring the ball up the floor. Mitchell, Reed, Blossom game, Grantham, and Holmes, the five on the floor. We're also going to see Jalen Forns check into the ballgame for the first time for UNC Wilmington. Right side, Holmes lobs it down to Grantham, backs his way along the right baseline, spins, bounces to JB, goes up strong, 
a big, strong foul against his uh, forearms there. Really held those low. And he'll go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Tiger fans, right now, pull out your phone and open your favorite social media app. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. And follow Phil Sykes <laughs> and your favorite Clemson team so you can keep up with news and scores and see exclusive behind-the-scenes photos and videos. Follow at Clemson Tigers on social media and visit ClemsonTigers.com to see a full directory of team accounts. Now you're not suggesting they follow my own personal account, are you? No. no well, I okay. mean, if they want to. P. Sykes 21, just a shameless <laughs> plug. But, uh, yeah, please follow Clemson MBB instead. Or both. <laughs> First free throw off the mark, missed by Blossom. Game. He's six for eight at the line tonight, 20 points for him. He's going to try a second, and that one was long. It looked like it was going to be off from the moment he let it go. Matt Elmore checks in for his first action, and he takes the rebound away. Here's UNC Wilmington with the basketball. Tally drives, lays it in right of the rim, and it's a 14-point game. A little bit of a run here for UNC Wilmington. They've scored the last eight unanswered. Yeah, and they've done it driving the basketball. They've really had good success now, and they're shooting 53% in the second half, so I don't think... Coach B is going to be overly thrilled about his defensive effort in this second half. Maybe the Tigers got a little bit laxed on that end of the floor. I'm not really sure what's going on or if UNC Wilmington made an adjustment. But nonetheless, you've seen them have some more success, and, and their point total has crept up a little high. for, for Clemson Free Green. throws coming for Avery Holmes after a foul against UNC Wilmington. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Clemson Tiger Sports Network from Learfield. Throw. He will have another. Clemson 84, UNC Wilmington 70. Second free throw good. Tigers by 15. That ends an 8-0 run by UNC Wilmington. The Tigers led by as many as 24 tonight. And so UNC Wilmington with the basketball. Tally drives it again, lays it up. Somehow gets that to almost go in. Very wildly out of control, but rebound Clemson. Mitchell pushes it ahead to Avery Holmes. Holmes has it high on the right. He accelerates, stops, and backs it out to the right point again. Under two minutes to go. 144 on a turning second half clock. A couple crossover dribbles. Holmes trying to create some space and look for uh, an opportunity here with eight on the shot clock. He drives, tries a layup, is blocked away by Bryce. Stolen away by Holmes, but they're going to say he uh, touched the end line, I think. Yep, on his spin move there. Coming to the basket. Good job, Avery, sticking with it that time. But uh, nonetheless, official right there to make the call. 85-70, Clemson by 15. A quick drive and a floater from Richmond is off the mark. Rebound, Clemson. Avery Holmes gets it ahead to Shelton Mitchell, who walks it up the right sideline. And the fans here at Little John Coliseum as we finish off the 39th minute of this game, showing their appreciation for... Uh, a good offensive and generally good defensive effort from the Tigers tonight. Let their guard down a little bit here in the last five minutes, but all things considered, we're pretty good. Reed pulls up and knocks down a left-point jumper from about 18 feet. Reed has six tonight. Tigers by 17. Richmond between the circles. Crafty dribbling. Kicks out to Bryce. Bryce on the left wing. Chucks a three and finds the bottom. 14-point lead for the Tigers. 87-73. Under 40 seconds to go. Shelton Mitchell walks it across center court. 15-second uh, difference between the shot and the game clock here. And a low Bob Cousy dribble at center circle for Shelton Mitchell. He's just waiting for this shot clock to go down. 10, 9, 8. Now Mitchell accelerates with his right. Kicks into the right corner. Grantham for three. A little bit long. Rebound volleyball around and won by Avery Holmes. Good hustle by Avery. And he wants to uh, make sure the Tigers are able to dribble this thing out. Shot clock is dark. Fans to their feet at Little John. And Clemson polishes off a 10-2 non-conference record. One of the strongest strength of schedules that they've had in the non-conference in a long time. And this Tiger team is certainly one of the better in the country as we head into ACC play. Certainly deserving of some consideration for a top 25 spot. Clemson, 87, UNC Wilmington, 73. And the Tigers get ready for Wake Forest in Winston-Salem on Saturday afternoon. Good win for Clemson tonight, and the Greenville Health System postgame show is coming up next.